Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today I'm coming to you with some tips, especially for my friends at the Tampa Bay Strobist Photographers and Models Meetup Group. This is a Lightroom tip, and I want to demonstrate some ways for sizing your images appropriately in Lightroom to post here on meetup.com. Now there are typically two places where you're going to want to post your photos as a member of this group, and one is on the event pages, and the other is on the model pages. We'll take a look at the event pages first. Now typically here on the event page, we have a photo album where the photographers in the group upload all the images from this event. These images are typically displayed at screen size and no larger, so there's no need to upload full resolution photos. By keeping the photos to a reasonable size, we can ensure that the pages load fast, but still provide a good quality image for people to enjoy. The second place that you're going to want to upload is to the individual models folder. When you're uploading to the models folder, you're going to want to submit the best, highest resolution image that you can within the limits that meetup.com allows. So let's take a look at Lightroom and see how we go about doing this. Here we are in Lightroom and I've narrowed down my images from this shoot to the best ones that I want to submit to the event page. So what I'll do is pick a few images from this selection, and these are the ones that I'm going to export and upload. In order to do that within Lightroom, I'm going to want to click the Export button down here on the lower left of the Lightroom interface, or you can choose File, Export. Either way, it brings up the Lightroom Export dialog box. And there are a number of options here, but first you're going to want to make sure that you're exporting to the hard drive. We'll take a look at some of these options quickly, and then I'm going to steer you to the ones that are most important. For export locations, we're going to choose Folder Later, and this will allow us to select a folder when we do the export. I'm not going to bother with renaming, but when I get down to the file settings, I'm going to want to make sure that I choose JPEG as the image format and set the quality to 100%. And again, this is for the photos that are going to the event page. Now the photos that are going on the event page, we said we can keep those a little bit smaller. So we're going to resize and we're going to choose the long edge. We want to keep the long edge to some reasonable number. I'm going to choose 1600. You can make up your own mind. Anything 2000 or below should be good. It will provide a good screen image, but it won't be too large of a file. Again, by constraining the pixel size down like this, we can choose 100% quality and get a nice image. I'll go ahead and set output sharpening for screen, and then if you want to include metadata, you can here. I'm going to include all metadata, and if you've set up a watermark, you can include the watermark. After export, I'm going to say show in Explorer, and then I'm going to click on the export button. I'll choose a location on the desktop, and I'll just make a new folder. I'll call this meetup event, and I'll select that folder. The exporting begins, and you can see the progress here, and then when the export is complete, we can see that the folder created on my desktop called Meetup Event now contains these four images. If I change the view to show the details, we can see that each of these images is in the neighborhood of one megabyte, so easily accommodated by meetup.com. At this point, I can drag and drop these files into the web browser to upload to the meetup.com event album. Now let's take a look at how we would upload to the model folders. In this case, I'm going to select all of the images of Claudia, and I'm going to want to upload a full resolution set of images for her. However, if I go through the export dialog as we did before, I'm going to want to make some changes. I don't want to resize these images. I want to keep them at their full resolution. However, I do want to limit the file size. Meetup.com accepts a maximum file size of 10 megabytes. So by limiting the file size to 9.95 megabytes here, or 9950K, I'm making sure that I'm staying within that limit. I'm going to click on Export, and I'll go again to the desktop, and I'll make a new folder called Model Claudia. I'll select that folder, and the four files will get exported. Here now I have the Explorer window with the four files, and again if I switch the view to show details, we can see that these files are much larger. They're approaching 10 megabytes, but they're all under 10 megabytes. So I've kept the file size within the meetup.com limitations. If I choose one of these and click on Properties, we can see 
here in the details that we've maintained the original image dimensions of 5,184 pixels by 3,456 pixels. So this is still a full resolution image. Once again now, I can grab these images, switch over to the meetup.com model folder, click on Add Photos, and I can drag and drop those images into this model's album. There you have it, using Lightroom to upload photos to meetup.com in two different ways to satisfy two different sets of requirements, one for the event pages and one for the model pages. I hope you enjoyed this tip and found it useful. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out myself and my friends over on tipsquirrel.com, where you can find lots of Photoshop and Lightroom tips and tricks.